Hey guys, in this video, we're going to be talking about hand tracking, as well as comparing the Manus OptiTrack Meta Gloves to the StretchSense Pro Fidelity Gloves. Manus was kind enough to send us over the Manus OptiTrack Meta Gloves to test with our OptiTrack system. We've also recently purchased the StretchSense Pro Fidelity Gloves, so we're going to be showcasing the pros and cons to both gloves. This video is not sponsored, so I'll be giving my honest opinions on quality, ease of use, and more. First off, we have the Manus OptiTrack Meta Gloves. For the sake of my sanity, I'll just refer to them as the Manus Gloves for the rest of the video. These gloves come in at about 11,000 Canadian and come in a very organized package. It contains a well-built zip-up bag for the gloves themselves, tracking marker rigid bodies that slide onto the top of the glove, both finger and thumb sleeves, wireless dongle, USB-C cable, and batteries. The batteries charge by inserting them into the glove and plugging it into a power source. Manus does also sell a battery charging dock that is very, very convenient. In general, the fact that these gloves have swappable batteries is definitely one of the selling features. Now let's look at the StretchSense Pro Fidelity gloves. These gloves cost approximately 9,200 Canadian and come in a compact package. Inside the package are the two gloves and the two dongles to connect to your PC. These gloves have an internal battery in the casing and can be charged via USB. Pretty simple. Let's move on to using the gloves themselves. We're gonna start off with the Manus gloves. First off, you wanna put the battery into the gloves and lock it in place using the green switch and then power it on. Plug the Manus dongle into the computer and then create an account on the Manus website and download the Manus Core software. This software will guide you through the process of calibrating the gloves. This calibration is very easy and provides fantastic results. And this is easily the best result in the shortest amount of time I've ever seen from any hand tracking gloves. Moving on to StretchSense, the process is similar. Plug in the dongles into your computer and turn on your gloves. A blue light on both the gloves and the dongles indicates that they're connected. Create an account on the StretchSense website and sign in. From there, you can download Hand Engine. This software will let you calibrate and capture data from your StretchSense gloves. Inside Hand Engine, create a performer on the bottom left. You'll know which glove you've selected by moving your hand and seeing a little signal icon move. From here, you can do an express calibration for general use or advanced calibration for a more specific use case. I'll talk about this later on. Now, let's throw it over to Future Me for a practical side-by-side -side test. Okay, so here I am inside of our OptiTrack volume now. I'm wearing our OptiTrack motion capture suit. And I'm gonna be testing out both the Manus OptiTrack glove and the StretchSense Fidelity glove. So uh, before I got into the suit here, I uh, obviously created a, a body inside of Motive as well as calibrated both, uh, both gloves. So the Manus, I just did the calibration that it prompts you to do uh, when you activate its software, Manus Core, uh, including the three poses. And for Stretch Sense, I did an express calibration um, as well as a couple of key poses, so mainly like fist, uh, gun trigger pose, uh, sword holding pose, because those are gonna be the kind of poses that uh, I'm gonna be doing for this test. So for the first test, I'm going to start with the Stretch Sense Fidelity Glove and I'm going to grab the sword. Let's do a couple of quick waves. All right, I'm gonna switch over to the Manus Glove now. So for this one, I'm going to be starting with the Manus Glove. The Manus Glove is going to be going onto the trigger here, and the Stretch Sense Glove is going to be going onto the barrel. So we want to focus on the trigger hand on this one. So now we have the Stretch Sense Fidelity Glove on the trigger and the Manus glove on the barrel. Right, and the last one we're gonna move on to is the box. So this is just gonna be showing how it interacts with straight fingers. So this one here is the Stretch Sense Fidelity gloves. 
And this side is the Manus gloves. Grabbing the inside of the box here. Same thing with the Manus gloves. Now for the last section, I'm just gonna be doing a couple of combat scenes, just closed fists, boxing type movements to see how that looks. All right, let's check out those results. As a quick showcase, Here's what these gloves will look like when paired to a metahuman in Unreal Engine. The Manus gloves look great immediately, whereas the Stretch Sense gloves seem to have a little bit of an issue with the thumb retargeting. I mentioned before that with Stretch Sense, it's possible to do an advanced calibration. This is what allows Stretch Sense to truly shine, as its purpose is to hone in on the exact kind of poses you want and ensure that you can hit them consistently. You can choose what poses you would like to focus on, and also create key poses the system will try and pick up on to force the hand into that position. This is super useful for when you have a specific hand shape you need your character to have for some animation prerequisites. A good example of this would be for your character to hold an object. Here you can also give it frame buffers, so that it looks more natural when the hand shifts into that correct hand position instead of just snapping to it. So after using both of these gloves for a couple of days, I can say that if you had to choose one of them, it would likely be the Manus Optitrack Meta Gloves, and here's why. During your production, you really just want to get the gloves on and start rolling as soon as you can. With the Manus Gloves, you can fit them on, do a calibration with three poses in a minute, and get staggeringly good results. Couple this with the swappable batteries and the simple interface, and you have great production-ready mocap gloves. Even though they are a bit more expensive, if you are going to be dishing out nearly $10,000 for mocap gloves anyways, you might as well spend a little more and get these. You will save a lot of time in production. We specifically tested out the Manus OptiTrack Meta Gloves, but Manus themselves sells other types of Meta Gloves for XSense and other motion capture solutions as well. The Stretch Sense Gloves are still great gloves, and I definitely recommend them over the Manus Gloves if it's more important to consistently hit the right poses. But be aware that they take longer to calibrate and may require recalibration every time you take them off. I hope you guys found this video insightful and follow CERT for more technology updates.